Woman's long line jacket or coat, whichever you want to call. I'm going to show you how to draft these jacket patterns. Hi, I'm Jean. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. This channel is all about pattern making. Look at this jacket. Pretty long, right? It fully covers the buttocks and ends at mid thigh. It has an armor princess seam at the front and back, big patchy pockets and wide cuffs at the sleeve. This is one of my favorite jackets. It's really comfy and looks great. You see, this is actually double breasted jacket, but I'm going to draft a single breasted one in this lesson. Depending on the fit you want, you might want to add extra ease. How much ease is appropriate? It's very subjective. First of all, ease depends on the design and fabric. Then personal preference. People feel differently with the same ease. So find the right amount of ease with your fitting. We're going to start with the measurement we need for this jacket drafting. And we'll draw the base frame, then the back patterns and front patterns and sleeves, etc. Maybe three or four episodes for this jacket drafting. And this time, I'm going to show you a one-piece sleeve pattern with an elbow dart for this jacket. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to take my mannequin's measurement as body measurement. So you need chest, waist, and hip circumference, shoulder width, back length, and hip length. These are body measurements. And you decide the jacket length and sleeve length you want. Okay, let's draw a rectangle first. The vertical is your jacket length. My example is 33 inches. The horizontal is half of your chest plus 2 inches. Even though it's a very fitted jacket, because the fabric is thick, I would add a 2 inches ease on half of the chest circumference. Find a midpoint on the horizontal line and move quarter of an inch to the left. And draw a line. The back body will be smaller than the front body. From the center back neck point, measure down the armor depth. Armor depth can be measured from the center back neck or sometimes from the high shoulder point. If you have no idea how to determine the armor depth, I have an armor depth chart for all types of designs on my website. Go to patternstudio101.com and download it. If you want to calculate the armor depth with your chest circumference, side note, I don't do it that way, but you can calculate your chest divided by 4 would be a good starting point. But find the right armor depth for your design with a fitting process. My example of armor depth is 8 inches and 5 eighths of an inch. Draw an underarm line. Then waistline. My example of the back length is 14 inches and a half. From the waistline, go down the hip length and draw a hip line. This is the base frame for the jacket. Let's go up. From the center back neck point, chest divided by 12. Go up 1 inch and a half. Again, from the center back neck point, measure half of the shoulder width. My example is 7 inches. Connect two points. This is the shoulder seam. Because this fabric is thick and it is kind of a winter jacket, 
So I'm going to draw the neckline wider and deeper. So go down half of an inch at the center back. Take out three quarters of an inch at the side neck and draw a neckline. From the shoulder point, go in half of an inch and draw a guideline for the cross back. Then you can draw an armor curve. Let's draw a side seam. On the waistline, take out three quarters of an inch on both sides. On the hip, we are going to add one quarter of an inch on both sides. On the hem, add three eighths of an inch, also front and back. Draw a side seam. See, we took out at the waist and added at the hip and the hem. I drew this side seam almost straight, but if you want, you can make an A-line seam like this. Go back to my pattern. The front side seam and back side seam are symmetric. Depending on the shape you want to make, you can take out less amount or you can take out even bigger amount for you to have a tighter waist. Let's wrap up today's episode. We are going to continue to draft a back princess line and front sleeve next time. Check out my website patternstudio101.com. You will find some useful resources there. And join the Facebook group Pattern Making Professionals. Links are in the description box. This channel is totally dedicated for young professionals to take their pattern making skills to the next level. Please click the like button and hit the bell so you don't miss new lessons. Have a great week. See you next time.